ladies and gentlemen. Has anybody got a problem with the filming or the call? That is me. That means no. Okay. Um, welcome to the 2003 committee. We've got three apologies. Andrew Hobson, Councillor Harmony, and Councillor Williams. Okay. Right. Has anyone got any interest? Councillor Nicholas. Yes. Yeah, um, I've got uh, three declarations of interest to make. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, I'm a member of the uh, Merseyside Fire and Rescue Authority. So that's number one. I also chair the New Bedford Village Hall, which is a licensed premises. I'm one of the organisers of Riddle Farmers Market, one of the best farmers in the country, um, which also has off sale of alcohol, which is a true good price. Thank you. I'm a bit of a camera. Let's have some order this week, please. Get a bit rowdy. People have been on the air before this week. That's Roberts.
It is a massive for, for yourselves. There is guidance on the consultation issue by the government, which uh, has been uh, amended. It, it did initially set out that you know practically everything that you consulted upon had to be three months. That's now been modified to say that dependent upon what subject matter is, and if it's focused consultation, that you can determine what you consider to be the appropriate time period for that. So again, that, that may be a matter for your consideration. Um, it is obviously intended that it, it will be available for members of the public to consult on, uh, but as you can see, there are statutory bodies and there are, it is also targeted at licensed premises that we must consult with those particular people. Uh, you mentioned that um, Sam and Barry have been able to do this, and I'll just point out the Lord's Peace obviously every day with Sam and Barry and the Lord. And look at this today, Cam and Jean Stapleton. Hey, Lord, a question. Uh, yes, Mr. Chair. Um, I'm wading through this, um, and it seems to me that it's a great improvement on the predecessor to clarify the Lord's Peace and the Lord's Peace and the Lord's Peace and the Lord's Peace and the Lord's Peace. However, I have got one, one small thing which I don't understand. For World Heritage Day, the new chairman of the 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 new piece at the end, the licensing authority will take a full approach to its need. Of insertion of extra 
there's an expectation for them to right. start doing that. Um, whether their application is fit to the relevant planning commission. Uh, if the applicant is unsure, um, then they should contact the planning. So it's it's really to highlight to them that there could be a conflict and they need to check that out. And then they would be aware that they would be dependent on you know, which way it was if there was a planning restriction. Because some applicants would not even consider planning. Um, so it's really steering them to say, you know, if there is a conflict, um, whether they would want to go ahead or whether they want to stay as they are. Yeah, I understand the market for one challenge where the is. If, for instance, I apply to you for an, a, a, a license, and my license is for one o'clock, and I'm applying for a two o'clock one, mm -hmm. planning for group that, and I'm trying to find out where about that. On the application, you are automatically given the route, you are automatically given the license. If I apply for a license uh, for a temporary event and so on, you will automatically give it to me along the line of license. But you, you don't look at the premises license. I'm accepting that. You, you pass it on to planning. Um, the procedure is that the application is automatically served on planning, and it would be for planning to make a representation if they considered that the conflict is such that it undermined the licensing objectives. So it, it, that, that side of it, the actual processing of the application um, involves planning having a say on that application. But the, the, the purpose of that particular paragraph is before somebody actually puts the application in, that they give consideration to that. And it's saying that as a, an authority, there's an expectation that they have already considered that. There's no nothing to prevent them having considered that to say, well, yes, there is a conflict, but I still want to put that application in. And if there are no representations on that application, then the application is automatically granted. We don't have any power not to grant it. There are no representations. I'm still not happy with the answer because uh, at the, as I spoke to you a while ago at this market, I still see a big grey area. It applies to you uh, as a license with people and you say basically yes, as long as planning. No? No, it, the application itself is served by the applicant on planning. It's not a sort of process whereby we consult with planning. The application itself must be, like it must be consulted with the police, the training centres, and the fire authority. And um, you will see from the revised document um, that I have consulted at length with planning. Um, you'll see from the bold inserts that there's considerably more reference to planning in this redraft because um, I, I did meet with, with planning to, to discuss those, those issues. Councillor, I'm going to ask this for the planning and the culture. Um, it seems to me that this is <coughs> an existing clause. It's not a new one. It's not an existing clause. So it's been agreed previously. Thank you. 
that restaurant's application would go through the normal process. And if there were any representations on that application, they would have to demonstrate why that would not have the impact that you would be expecting from a licensed premises in that area of the premises. Um, obviously, um, there is a process to be followed in terms of adopting such a policy. And the steps uh, for that are set out uh, within the guidance. Uh, the first thing is that there has to be an identified concern about crime and disorder, public safety, public nuisance or the protection of children <coughs> from harm. So in the first instance, there has to be some concern relating uh, to that particular area.